Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation testing series. In this particular tutorial, we will be learning about class and instance variables. So let's begin. So what are the class variables? So let me go to the notepad here and let's see what are the class variables. So basically class variables are those variables which are defined within the class, within the class, but you need to make sure that they are defined in class, but outside the methods okay this is the first thing the second thing you need to know about the class variables is that they are shared by all instances of the class and the third thing is that why these class variables are useful because they are storing they are storing data common to all instances okay and let me give you an example here in terms of automation testing so for example you're creating a framework you might be working on some application where you need some test configuration some environment details so you can use the class variables for that okay and now uh, let's talk about the instance variable okay so instance variables are basically defined within the instance okay or within the methods so defined defined within within the methods and specifically when we talk about the methods they are usually usually defined within the underscore underscore init method so we haven't learned about the init method we will learn that but right now to understand that these instance variables are defined within the methods class variables are defined within the class but outside the methods and class variables shared by all instances of the class and they are used for storing the common data across all the instances and here when we talk about instance variables so basically they are unique to each instance of the class so unique to each instance of the class now when we should use the instance variable so they are useful for storing the data which is unique to each instance for example when we are talking about the automation testing your each instance means for example it is for the individual test data or the credentials for the specific tests okay so let me write it down so useful for storing data that is unique to each instance okay so this is uh, basically a difference between a class variable and the instance variable okay now let me go to the pycharm and let's create an example where we learn about this in detail okay and here i will be taking an example in terms of automation testing so that you can understand this well so let's go to the pycharm here and let me go here and create a class and here let me create a class i say class and instance variable okay and the first thing is that we need to create a class now let's take an example that we are working on an application we are creating framework and when we are talking about automating an application so you know that the base url or the application url is same which is shared across all the test cases so in this case we will be creating a class variable and this class variable will be holding or storing this particular url okay and then we will be creating some instance um, uh, variables against the instance methods okay and then we will be calling them okay so let's create a class here and i say automation testing and inside this i will add the comments as well so that you can understand the code so now let's create a class variable 
So we know that the class variables are those variables which are, you know, used for on the class levels. Okay. So what I will do, okay, let me remove this one. Let's write down the code first. So as we talked that we should go with the base URL because it is used across the test, right? So base URL equals to, for example, you are automating google.com google.com so you have created so now this base URL is is basically a class variable okay now you see that this is not defined inside the method outside the method now i will create a, a method and inside that we will be setting a instance variable so we know that we need to use a def keyword and for example i will say set underscore test underscore name and here you see that by default we are getting this self so now what is this self so basically self represents means me or myself and you know that the class is a blueprint so as i create the different instances or the objects so each object represents that okay this self belongs to me at that particular time now we go with the name here and here what i do is that so using the self dot we say self dot test underscore name equals to name now this variable is basically a instance variable over here now i will create another function dev and let's suppose run underscore test test and here let's print i'll go simple printing statements okay so i will be using f strings here and say running test and here i will be using self you see that I'm using self dot so I have this test underscore name as well okay so test underscore name and let's copy this from here and paste it here and secondly I will say using using base URL and here I will say self dot you see that we are getting the option for the base url so we'll pass the base url over here now what i will do is that now i will be creating instances for the test cases okay so for example i will say test one equals two and this automation testing okay and now I will say test one dot set test name and now I'm setting the name for the first test and the first test I say login test okay now what I will do is that let me create one more instance okay test two test two is equals to this to automation testing and here test two dot set test name and now i'm saying that this is my for example sign up test okay now when you set the your test you basically you need to run the test so test one dot run test and then similarly test two dot run test okay so here this base url so base url is basically our uh, class variable so class variable and here this self dot test name and name this basically is our let me add is known as instance variable so you see that 
this class variable is defined within the class but outside the these methods okay this is our first thing which we learned defined within the class but outside the methods and shared by all the instances so if i go uh, back to the pie channel so you can see that it is shared so i can use in the different instances or the methods you can see that i have used this here here okay and similarly our instance variables are basically defined within the methods so here if i go back to pancham so you see that this is defined within this method okay and they are unique to each instance so when i call this one it will be unique for each instance over here okay so this is what we have learned and if i run this one so you see that running test login test using the base url google.com and so this is the output so basically i have created a very simple class using a class variable again class variables are used when when basically we have some common data across all the instances just like i give a example of test configurations and some environment variables these kind of things can be stored in the class variables okay so this is uh, all about the difference between class variables and instance variables in python thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial